Hello everyone, welcome to GGN. Today is Thursday, November 1st, 2012. I'm Darko. Alright, I'm going to cover a bunch of different uh, issues in this video, including the police state, um, this uh, hurricane, this very timely uh, late in the season. I, I don't know if it's that late in the season, but it's a very timely uh, hurricane right before the election. So we're just five days before the rigged elections take place, and so... Um, without further ado, shit and gasoline in Manhattan flood water. So, via ABC News, the water is everywhere in the aftermath of the Hurricane Sandy in basements on the streets and transit systems, but the one place that the flood water is most dangerous is in your body. So, it went on there and it collected flood water and drinking water in some of the hardest hit areas. It says they uh, tested positive for gasoline and two types of bacteria found in sewage, E. coli, and coliform. They say it's very dangerous to so make sure you wear protective gear if you're coming in contact with the flood water. So, um, also you have Sandy causes 300,000 gallon diesel spill into water near New Jersey. Major spill occurred in the Strait of Water separating Staten Island and the state of New Jersey. The spill of more than 300,000 gallons of diesel fuel reportedly occurred in the wake of the Superstorm Sandy. You know, even my, uh, you know, people have been telling, been telling about uh, weather modification and weather wars. They're finally starting to get it because I received an email from a family member just recently saying, you know, and I didn't check my email the last couple of days, so this was like from like Friday or Saturday or something like that, and like, oh yeah, you know, this is a, uh, this is this looks like weather weather modification. I'm like, wow, you know, people are seeing it now. Hopefully, they can see that it's what weather wars too. Uh, New York gasoline pumps run dry, so the pumps are running dry in New York, and drivers and homeowners are scrambling to secure fuel for their cars and generator, generators in the U.S. Northeast on Wednesday as storm hit gasoline stations start to run dry. More than half of the gasoline stations in New York City area and New Jersey were shut because of depleted fuel supplies and power outages, frustrating attempts to restore normal life. Normal life. This life that we're living is a completely engineered, manufactured life. And to me, it's not its not natural at all. It's very artificial. Um, it's an organized chaos. It's a circus. And a lot of people, it, it drives them insane. So, you know, if we do get away from this normal life, like I said, we have an opportunity to really become free here. But, of course, the hardest thing you're going to have to face is people uh, trying to point guns at you, telling you you need to form a government. Reports of long lines, dark stations, and empty tanks circulated across the region. Some stations' owners were unable to pump the fuel due to a lack of power, while others quickly ran their tanks dry because of increased demand and logistical problems in delivering fresh supplies. Um, so, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, people tend to blame when, when things start to, when the grid and this artificial system breaks down. Uh, temporarily or permanently or for a sustained period of time, people tend to think that that's anarchy and that's a result of people not being governed and controlled, right? Because people are, 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 are mentally, psychologically um, engineered as well. So they're, gonna, they're just going to panic and they're going to act like what most slaves do. They're going to uh, start snapping at each other because they feel powerless. State troopers deployed as tensions boil at gas stations in Sandy's Wake. State troopers have been deployed at all gas stations along the New Jersey Turnpike and Garden State Parkway, where dwindling gasoline supplies are causing frayed nerves as the region endures its third full day with massive power outages. I believe there's been 70, at least 70 to 75 uh, people that have died so far. It says police reported breaking up angry confrontations at gas stations. Said in Brooklyn, tempers flared outside a Getty station where drivers get out of their cars exchanging angry words. So you've seen this before in all the sci-fi movies. That's why the elites are preparing for preparing you for this uh, in the media and in movies, it's all about it. I, you know, I don't go to the video store often, but like I said, I mentioned before, when I was in there, it was all about vampires and zombies and um, end, of, end of times type scenarios like Hunger Games and stuff like that. So they're pre definitely preparing us for something. And, uh, you know, the best example, of course, is Jericho, that show. Uh, Pentagon airless power teams, uh, trucks to New York, it says here that the Pentagon's airlifting power res restoration experts and trucks across the country from California to New York to bolster its assistance to the millions of people living in darkness after the uh, basically weather modification heart storm in the Northeast. Then we have the New York National Guard suddenly decides hurricane relief trumps mock disaster drill. 
So it goes on and says, hours after being contacted by Danger Room, the New York Army National Guard on Tuesday night abruptly reversed a decision to send hundreds of soldiers out of state in the midst of the Hurricane Sandy relief effort. The troops were previously declared unavailable to help New York recover from the big hurricane and said they were assigned to a fake disaster. See, this is the, this is the sign usually of some kind of manufactured event. Some people call it a false flag. I said it's a real bad thing where people die and lots of people lose um, a lot of a lot of things, right? The resources, wealth, and stuff like that, and time. Time is the most valuable um, asset. And uh, well, when when you see stuff like this happen, where the governments themselves are doing training missions that are mocking the exact same thing that's occurring, that's usually a good indicator that this was staged and uh, brought on. For whatever reason, I'm not really sure, you know, but prior to the elections, I'm kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of weird. It's already November 1st when I said it today. I'm like, wow, you know, November 1st, it's only five days to the uh, to this um, circus show election. So, you know, what puppet are we going to get? But it didn't really occur to me just till today how close the elections really were to this hurricane. So U.S. government picks and chooses among offers of hurricane aid. So this is not very surprising here the obama regime is picking and choosing among foreign offers of humanitarian aid for hurricane victims rejecting politically inconvenient offers one is from a from pakistan they're called a militant group and it says they've been remarkably successful in most of its aid efforts avoiding the massive corruption that has been fallen many efforts in pakistan so their doctors and suppliers aren't welcome in the u.s also, the Iranian Red Crescent has offered to deploy rescue teams and aid workers immediately if they are allowed, looking to uh, reciprocate after a 2003 U.S. deployment after an earthquake hit Iran. So it says here the U.S. officials haven't commented, but it seems unlikely to accept the offer when so much political effort is being exerted days before the U.S. elections on convincing the public of the value of attacking Iran. See, they don't like that. Yeah, Iran actually sent uh, to Somalia when they were going through that um, devastating uh, drought and stuff like that it was about a within the past year they had sent like over 20 25 shipments and i noticed on yahoo they're starting to scam people you know they get you tugging your emotional cords there and i saw it, it was like what quarter million almost a half a million dollars raised by the uh, red american red cross and that's uh you know like i said before it, it goes down a black hole yeah, and some of the pictures that I saw, like as I mentioned about Australia, was a good example about how people were helping each other. And it was the government that was just really not doing anything. And because um, when it comes down to it, they really don't have the resources. Uh, they'll even admit that too. See, that's the irony of all those taxes and stuff like that. You're paying all these taxes and people feel um, patriotic about doing it. And then when it comes down to where they need, when they need some kind of help from it, they're not there. So then it makes you wonder, you have to ask the question, why are they there? Why do they exist then to maintain order, right? I mean, oh, okay, you've got to maintain control. They have to have control over all the resources or over everybody. That's what it is. So that's why, you know, um, eventually in a, in a scenario like this, you'll start to see, they, in, especially in New York where they're banning uh, you know, uh, sh uh, sugary drinks, as they say, big gulps and stuff, and they're trying to do all kinds of crazy, uh, crazy communist type stuff in New York under Bloomberg, uh, banning smoking all all out, right? But uh, eventually, they'll start cracking down on bartering. You know, I saw a shot, a picture of a shopping cart in one of the articles about people. Um, oh, someone's shopping with a shopping cart full of goods, and they're selling on the streets. Well, eventually, they're going to start uh, uh, citing those people for infractions and stuff like that. See. So this is exasperation builds on day three in the storm stricken. So kind of reiterating what we just said, frustration in some cases mounted uh, three days after the um, Frankenstorm. Traffic backed up for miles at the bridge and large crowds waited impatiently for buses into Manhattan. And tempers flared in gas lines. So this could be another thing, you know, like I don't know what the, all the reasons for, but um, it can definitely be a PSYOP. It could be a weather war. It could be an attack by another country. Uh, such as Russia or China, uh, they have these weapons available to them. Uh, without electricity, New Yorkers on food stamps can't pay for food, so this is pretty much a given, right? Can't uh, pay for food stamps. So, uh, Next up, we have extreme global weather, weather. The unprecedented is the new normal. So just, just like the show, um, what is it, the new normal or something like that, uh, basically pushing the LGBT and uh, just totally, like I said, uh, it's an upgrade of the um, social engineering of society and breaking it and ripping it apart. 
Um, and now this is the new normal, this global warming. I was just covering, I just broke through all this. So check out my videos from yesterday on uh, DDARCO2012, DDARCO2013, or ggnonline.com. And you can check out uh, where I'm saying that, you know, the poles are adding up with ice. Um, and uh, we're probably heading into an ice age here. But they're going to they're gonna put this crap out there for you to believe that, that uh, you did it. Well, man did cause it. They probably engineered the entire storm. We need to wake up on global warming. This is Business Week's cover that makes the case bluntly. So again, this is another another reason. There's always multiple reasons for why the elites, the globalists, uh, uh, do things like this. There's so many reasons, the carbon tax, everything, the elections, uh, a psyop to test and gauge what the public will do. Like I said, people act as if they're civil you know, and they'll smile and they go and they check out in the checkout lines at the store and they go to their games and they smash each other's heads in and say, rah, 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 they got to hate our enemy and kill them. Um, you know, as soon as, the, as soon as the grid and the plug to the grid gets pulled, they become very uncivil, right? They're no longer smiling. They're stabbing you in the back. So that's why I said, you know, in those type scenarios, a lot of times you just want to stay away from people. You need to go to the woods or you need to go somewhere. Even if you got to like, you know, part of my plan is I'm not going to do roads. I'm going to be traveling down ditches. I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to have my waders, I'm my backpack and that. And I'm going to be going down these little uh, dikes and these rural areas. That's how I'm going to be traveling because I'm not going to be visible above ground and that. Um, you know, and stay away from people because a lot of times they'll just cause trouble and big groups. So could Hurricanes Sandy delay the election? Who knows, right? Does it really matter? You know, like I said, it's just Pepsi and Coke, whatever. It's the same thing. Uh, you know, October surprise. It's like, come on, man. I guess that was our October surprise, the hurricane. But they don't need to do that unless nobody shows up to vote. But there will always be people to vote, right? Even if they have two people to vote, they'll call that a democracy and say, oh, so we, we here's your new winner. Sandy helps push gasoline prices lower. How? I don't know. I, I don't understand how they're doing this, but I think it has to do with the election. It's, it's like I said, people. I covered an article. Uh, most American voters have the attention span of a eight, eight, eight week or eighteen week year old puppy. So a little puppy. That's the memory span. So they see gas prices like this. They're like, oh great, man. And then all of a sudden they think, oh it's not so bad under Obama. You know, it wasn't like a Bush with the Iraq War. So and then they'll they'll reelect them. But I don't know the rationale behind low gas prices. I, I saw them happening before the storm, actually. And uh, I was like wondering, I'm like, oh, okay, this is for the elections. And then this happened, and they're blaming it on the storm. Uh, usually when refineries uh, go down from hurricanes, it usually increases the demand and um, because the supply is usually lower. So, I mean, it's pretty basic, right? But not with oil and <laughs> gasoline. That's why diesel is like 80 cents, almost a dollar more than gasoline. And it's not even as refined. It takes less infrastructure and resources to do. So big scam for truckers. Uh, it says here, Bloomberg endorses Obama and cites hurricanes. So mayor says president will lead on climate change as well. So, wow, maybe this is one of their things about climate change. So he's praising Obama for taking major steps such as reducing carbon consumption. So they're turning into climate change thing. There you go. Uh, most of Congress coming back despite low approval. So even though the people don't approve of these people, they're still going to re-elect them so there you go and that's part of the mind control they feel compelled that they have to participate in the system they have to keep doing it they have to vote otherwise they don't have a right to say anything but see they're going to vote these douchebags back in they're going to lie to them and they're never going to fulfill their promises and they're going to tell people like us that don't vote uh we uh, you know you don't have a right i'm like well like george carlin well i didn't vote i didn't vote for them so i do i have every damn right to complain Man arrested for threatening to shoot Romney. So uh, here we go again. A 19-year-old black man uh, threatening to shoot Obama during a presidential campaign to Ohio. Just one of the recent wave of violent threats against Romney. So it says it's been downplayed by the media. Actually, I have been I think it's been kind of hyped, this whole race war. Even on InfoWars, they're pushing, oh, you know, there's going to be a race war if, if, uh, if Obama loses. If a Romney wins, you're going to lose your job. Shots fired at the Obama campaign field office in Denver from last month. So that as well. Then you have Richard Belzer saying if Romney wins a very slim margin, there's going to be uh, America will explode. So there you go. Then you got this. This is a nice thing to push a race riot, kind of like the whole Trayvon psyop. Majority harbor prejudice against blacks. So see, America is still a bunch of white racists. See, I like that, don't you? A voter turnout in presidential election to be low. Interesting. They attribute it to the hurricane. So I guess they just want you to know you live in a dictatorship. You don't have really have a choice. So this is GGN. Thank you.